You know, one of the things that I love is the lighting after a good storm, or even during a good storm. When the sun's either setting or rising, the clouds break, everything's nice and fresh and clean. It all just lights up and the colors are all so vivid and bright. And you're just able to absorb the ambiance of it all. There's just something happy making about it. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. We are running into the office because it's Friday and work is a thing, but we will be coming back afterwards. I'll see you guys then. All right guys, it is Saturday now. We've, uh, so we're out here with the Mercedes. We've got a few things we wanna look at. So now that I've had it a few days, you know, it's been about a good week, week and a half of ownership. There's a number of things that I've noticed that either need to be fixed, that I wanna change, or, you know, we can just more personalize. That way we can make the car more, you know, more my car. It's kind of nice to have a car that's not just generic, that doesn't look like all the others, but has some personality to it and kind of matches your own personality. So let's look around real quick and let's check out first the things that need to be fixed. Then we'll look at the things that maybe we'd like to change and then some of the ideas we have for how to make it my own. So starting from the front of the car, there are two things you might notice. The first is that this little door cover for the tow hook is actually broken. So this is broken, it doesn't stay in place properly anymore. I kind of noticed it at the dealer that it was sat in here funny. I thought maybe I could just sit it back in right and it would stay. And then the other day when my dad was cleaning the garage, we noticed that it had actually fallen out. So if we just kind of set this in here the way it's supposed to sit, if we can get it back where it's supposed to be, like that, it actually doesn't stay in here and it doesn't stay flush. You kind of have to stick it in at an angle for it to stay in. So that's something we'd like to fix. Also, this front piece of the bumper here, this whole thing right here, this is actually sticking out. And I've looked underneath, it looks like the tabs might actually be broken underneath so it doesn't hook in right. I've tried just kind of pushing it back in, but it doesn't seem to stay in. Um, it doesn't necessarily look bad sticking out, but it does look odd when it definitely does. You can tell that it is supposed to be flush in there. So that's something we'd probably want to look at. But we'll come back to this all because we'd actually probably just like to maybe change all of this. So, and of course we'd like to get rid of this, but if we get rid of this, then we've got to repair got to repair the bumper so that's something to look at as we move around the side i mean we've got a scratch or two i mean that's just kind of going to happen we're probably just going to get over that and not worry too much about it the wheels so this wheel actually looks pretty good we got a little scuff right here we've got this one has a little road rash also another one or two of them just have a little bit of road rash and you know that's just part of buying a used car the tires really though they're they're in much better condition or the wheels i should say are in much better condition than were my mustang's wheels my mustang's wheels had much more much more road rash and you know a lot of this isn't super bad either i don't know i don't know if i'd want to keep these wheels because they are apparently amg wheels they are decently nice and just get them kind of refinished or maybe if i would eventually find something aftermarket that i'd like enough to want to get but, and then the other one, I think the other one has a little bit of a nick on it also. Let's just look real quick. We've got, no, this one actually looks good. So that's good. Let's come, so let's come up front then. So inside here, most things actually look to be in pretty good shape. We got a little red mark here on the steering wheel that I'm not really sure what it's from. I'm gonna guess it's a cut in the leather, but I mean, the wheel's in pretty good condition. The main thing I'd wanna fix in here is the trim around here you can kind of see it's just kind of falling apart so we've got it you can see it pretty good right there you can kind of see along here we've got you know it's like cracked and peeling and stuff which is just kind of what seems to happen with these kinds of trims especially as they get older so i'd like to find out if you can get a replacement for this easy enough and if this can just be swapped out easy so it'd be nice to to get that fixed otherwise you know you just have some normal wear and tear just like some scratching here and there and whatever but uh, let's jump to the back. All right, so jumping to the back driver's side here, this is actually where it looks like the car's taken most of its abuse. So I'm gonna guess that child probably sat in the back here. Uh, we've got, you know, we've got some scraping here. I don't know if any of this could be kind of 
sanded down or whatever. We've got a few cuts up top here. The, um, this got, we've got this piece here is actually, it's actually come apart some, which there's an airbag in here. I don't know if there's any way to, I don't know if we can kind of pull this apart and figure out why it's separated and get it put back together or not, but that's definitely a problem. I just noticed the speaker cover here is actually dented. Luckily, we can find these easy enough, though. This should be pretty easy to replace. We can get a new speaker cover that won't be dented and get that on there, and that'll look nice again. And then the only other thing really here is you can kind of see right here in the sunshade, there's a bit of a crease, which is, you know, probably won't really worry about that, especially since you'd probably have to take apart most of the door in order to be able to really replace that. So might just say, oh well, too bad. And so that pretty much covers anything that actually needs to be fixed that's broken. So things I might like to change. I would probably like to get more like the C63 style bumper for this. And I'm thinking to get the, so I think it's the GT63. So get the other grill that has the actual bars going across it. I really like how those look. I want to see if I can find a picture of how those look on the C400 first and see if I like the look or not. But I've been thinking a lot about doing that and then get just a little bit more aggressive style bumper. And then that would fix this. That would fix the whole problem. We get a different lip down here. We can get a, uh, probably get a carbon fiber one or something, which would look really nice. I think we'd have to carbon fiber a few more things. There's, I think there's carbon fiber side skirts you can then get and also the rear spoiler. And so that's an option. That's something we might do. I like the headlights. I like the taillights unless we were able to actually find LED taillights that looked really nice. Maybe do something like that. From the inside here, I think it'd be cool if we got maybe an AMG style or maybe even more like a carbon fiber or carbon fiber and Alcantara steering wheel. Something a bit more aggressive. Maybe not necessarily aggressive, just something a bit more, you know, a little bit more race style. I do like the shape though. I mean, we've got the D steering wheel to begin with, so it's probably not the highest thing on my priority list, but definitely getting bigger, getting the extenders for the paddle shifters is something I'd like to do. That way, you know, I can have my hands up a little bit higher and still be able to hit them really nice and easy. So that's something we want to do relatively soon. That'll probably be one of the first things I do. I've also seen that it is possible to get the illumination for luckily this wood trim. They do make kits so that you can get like the illumination along the sides and stuff and uh, also underneath the door trim here and so that's something we might do to get you know it looks like it can work with the stock system too so you can control it normally like you would if it came with it so that would be cool and there's also you can get different vents that also light up we might look into that we might not it just kind of depends i don't mind how the vents look now but uh if we added some more interior lighting then we might switch those out too, just to kind of add to the ambiance. And then of course there's the performance mods. We want to get a different exhaust. Um, this exhaust, it's just, it's really quiet. I don't know how high on my priority list it is, but it would be nice, you know, to get an exhaust that, you know, you can actually hear. It'd be kind of, it'd be nice. So that's something kind of on my list. I've also been looking at tunes. It looks like there may be a tune or two out there that can get this thing up pretty close to 400 horsepower, which would just be a riot. I don't know what we would do with that much horsepower. Now, there are other mods you can do that get it up closer to 500, I believe. Um, I've seen some videos of people that have done that, but that requires larger turbos and probably a host of other mods that, you know, I don't know how far in I want to go that way. Um, I mean, it's got decent performance to begin with, so I think just getting a better tune that would both get some better performance and some better gas mileage would be a plus. And then, you know, if we can do some simple stuff to increase some horsepower, maybe getting some different intakes, getting some uh, open air intakes put on it, switching out the exhaust, maybe a different downpipe or something. Just, you know, try to do some simple stuff here and there. Mostly though, we just want to keep it running. We want to keep it looking nice and stuff. It'd be comfortable and not be in the shop a lot because we need to work. That way we can pay for all that stuff and everything else. All right, guys, so that'll wrap up this video. The review of the C400 is still coming. I'm going to probably put that off another week or two just till I've had a little bit more time with the car, driving it and such, and until we have a better place to take shots of it. And 
we can clean it up and not have it rain the next day. So until then, I'll see you guys next time.